All right, guys, so we've been working on some uh, stuff here at the shop, and you guys know I got the Mach 11 project, which I just recently broke the transaxle in, taking some hot laps in it. Back at the SEMA show, I ended up talking to a gentleman uh, that was with a company you were all well familiar with from the 80s, and that company's Bazooka uh, Southern Audio Sounds. And I got to talking to him, and they had a sound bar there that they use for uh, ATVs and whatnot, and side-by-sides. And I saw it and I thought, you know, a lot of us use those pills, the sound pills or the, the uh, battery charged uh, sound tubes. And they came out with one that was pretty slick. And I looked at it and I thought it'd make perfect for a sound system in a Volkswagen because it's, it's small enough to fit into the dash. And yet it'll give you your full front staging and it's compatible with their rear self-amplified subwoofer. So in the Mach 11, that's what I actually used in here was the, I used the Bazooka G2 sound, the sound tube, and then I use their self-amplified subwoofer. And believe it or not, it's, what I like about the system is it uses, it, it doesn't use a lot of amperage. It's like uh, seven and a half amps to run the sound bar up front and the subwoofer. You don't need heavy gauge power cable. Everything is real easy to put in the car. You don't really gotta cut a bunch of holes and do things to make it work and it's really, in and out and if you don't want the subwoofer it's still full range sound and the front staging is real nice on it the beetle and it's not in the way and so let's take a look at what we did here in the uh, mach 11. so here's the old mach 11 we're down here at the wagon we're getting ready to drop the motor and pull the train in and swap the trans out because i was getting a little crazy in it and uh, over here at george's shop at the wagon and here take a look at the uh the g2 sound tube now what's cool about it what i like about it and i gotta tuck up some of these wires but this is the signal for the subwoofer out, and then this is the power that connects to it. And I have it connected actually to the additional uh, power outlet that's connected on the fuse panel, the available fuse panel there. But it's pretty slick, and in addition to it being a full self-amplified tube, that's got two tweeters and two mid-range, but it's also got two subwoofers, two four-inch subwoofers on each end. So, it acts as full range of sound. It sounds better than any sound tube you're gonna buy. They're super affordable and they fit right in the car. Um, and another thing that they have is they've got uh, the LED lights that are on them. And you can kind of turn those down. You can change them up. You know, you can increase the speed of the, uh, the color change. So they're actually pretty slick. It's something pretty slick to do. Um, it's something in addition that you can have, but I really like, I really like the sound bar and the way that it sounds. And I have my, self-amplified sub tube in the back and it's you know this is this is kind of the get around door slammer cruiser i've got another setup that i put in one of my other cars and i'll be showing you guys that one but it's a super great option for a low cost full sound system that just connects to your phone and has full controllability from your phone and it's it really has a good sound to so it. let me give you guys a little example of like how to pair it up right so there's your phone, you turn it on, you'll see it down there. It's a Bazooka G2, you connect to that. I got George's phone here, hit our music, and we'll give you a little, a little sound. We go, let's see what George has got in his library here that we can listen to. Let's see, oh. Uh, yeah, let's do a little Lupe fiasco here. Like, let's do Typing this bit right now, so I'm gonna be cleaning up the wires and whatnot, and coming up with a couple different mounting ways to put this in there. Check it out. Oh, first got it when he was six, didn't know any tricks. Matter of fact, first time he got on it, he slipped, landed on his hip, and busted his leg. For a week, he had to talk with a list. Yeah, so it's got all your controls here: pause, play, forward, skip, you know, all that good stuff. And then you can control the lights. Let's say if you want to just keep the lights as low as possible, get them down. Just you got a little light on there. You control the speed here with how much they how much you change the color. And it's kind of cool. I mean, and then what I like, I mean, even by itself, it's got a real good sound to it, right? So it's got a real full range 
of audio. And then for me, I got a little flip switch back here for my sub off. So I got nitro switch. I go by the name of Lupe Fiasco. Representing that first in 15. And this one right here. And as we all know, nothing replaces the, the deep thundering bass of a bazooka sound too. So these guys got a real nice setup. It's super affordable. I'd definitely check it out if I was you guys. If you want something that really you can set it up to switch from car to car, you can get uh, you can get different setups so that you can just have a plug in. And I'm working on a quick disconnect kit where you can buy multiple installation kits and click it from car to car. Uh, it's non-invasive. It might require two small holes to be drilled, but this sound tube coupled with the bass is more than enough and it doesn't pull a lot of uh, a lot of amperage so you can listen to it for quite a while with the uh, or with the engine off and whatnot just kind of chilling and listening to some music so definitely something that uh, I'm into and you guys should check it out and we'll get you more info coming up on Let's Talk Dubs guys. Thanks. <laughs>